What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Unite and in today's video we're going to be showcasing the best held items and best moveset for the brand new Pokemon Greedent. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're new to the channel or just not yet subscribed, consider subscribing. It really does go a long way. So I thank everybody who supports me as a content creator. But yes, Green has just released alongside with the Halloween update. And the Halloween update actually brought us a lot. The new the map has changed, so it's all Halloween themed. Brought us a bunch of new events and brought us a bunch of nerfs and buffs to a bunch of different Pokemon and in-game Pokemon such as Dreadnought, Zapdos, and Rotom. I'm actually going to be leaving a link down in the description below so you guys can read all the nerfs and buffs and see how this game has changed for the better in my opinion i feel like they did some good nerfs and buffs and they kind of changed the main game with uh nerf and zapdos and dread and all and buff and rotom at the same time so if you guys want to check that out link will be down in the description below but let's get started here first thing i actually want to showcase is the events tab there's a brand new events tab for the halloween update which allows you to get pumpkins by doing certain tasks in pokemon unite so eventually you start racking up pumpkins and then you can go down to the next thing which is the pumpkin exchange and you can exchange those pumpkins for items and more importantly you can exchange it for greedent over here so you can get greedent absolutely for free if you do all your events and do it in a 21 day time frame so personally i bought greedent for 8,000 coins because i want to showcase them for you guys but eventually i'm just going to grind my pumpkins back exchange for the greedent card and get my coins back from there but yeah you can totally get greedent for free and get all these other cool rewards for free all you gotta do is grind so i think it's pretty cool that they're giving out free stuff during halloween and more events and more coins and all that good stuff but let's get started over here. Let's hit our Pokemon. Let's go head over to Greenant and showcase this Pokemon's best held items and move. So look at this thing. This thing is a physical attacker and he's a melee defender with a difficulty of expert. I heard many things about this Pokemon. I heard this thing is a, has a crazy high learning curve, but once you can get it, he is very, very broken as of right now due to his abilities, due to how it can stack because it can stack berries in this, and due to its moveset, which is pretty, pretty strong. But we're going to get started here with its moveset. So its basic attack becomes boosted with every third attack like every single normal Pokemon, dealing increased damage when it hits and causing one berry to drop from the user's tail. So that's like the big gimmick with Greedent is it, it drops berries from its tail and you can eat the berries, regain HP, and it also gives you like attack buffs and reduce your cooldown and all that good stuff. So berries are going to be a huge part of this Pokemon. Next thing is going to be his ability, which is Cheek Pouch. When the Pokemon eats a berry, it also recovers HP after receiving the original effects of the berry. So basically, you eat a berry, you can eat a citrus berry and get the HP recovery and then get HP as well. At the same time, it stealthily stashes another berry into its tail. Being hit by a single attack or a combination of attacks will cause this berry to drop from the Pokemon's tail. So every time you eat a berry, you stash a berry in your tail. Yeah, it's a little weird until you start playing the Pokemon, but every time you eat a berry, you stash a berry into your tail, and that will be like a bar above you while you're playing, and then you can use those berries to actually uh, get more HP later in the match, especially when you get hit, it will drop your berries, or you can use them to actually reduce cooldown and certain stuff you guys will see in just a second. We're going to move on to its first moveset, which is Tackle, and then splits down the Bullet Cedar Belch. We'll start off with Tackle, so it has to usually leap to a designated area, dealing damage to the opposing Pokemon in the area of effect, and decreasing their movement speed at the same time. If this move is used while Covet is active, Covet is his secondary move in the whole next category we'll talk about it in a second. While using Covet, no area can be designated for the user to leap into. Instead, while the user is running, damage is dealt in the area to the opposing Pokemon in front of it. If the user has any berries stashed in its tail at a time, it consumes all of them. The more berries the user has stashed away, the move's cooldown is reduced. So, back to the berry situation. You will eventually have berries stacked. When you use Tackle, the more berries you have stashed, it will use them all, and then the cooldown will go down. So you can potentially use Tackle like two times very, very quickly, like in instantly. It's it's nuts. You guys should definitely got to check them out. Like you can use moves back to back with no cooldown due to the berry stash. It's really, really good and really great all around. Two moves that Tackle splits into is Bolt Seed. Bolt Seed is the first move. It's pretty standard. It just has user spits berry seeds in a designated direction, dealing damage to the opposing Pokemon in the area effect and decreasing their movement speed for a short time. The more berries the user have stashed away, the more damage this move deals. So it's pretty cool. Berries, like I said, it's just going to give you a buff onto your moves, reduce cooldown, all that good stuff. So Bolt Seeds kind of reminds me of Water Shrekken because you can move while using it. It actually reminds me more so of Hyper Voice on Sylveon. It's basically just like a straight little lane that you can move and kind of hit damage and uh, deal damage with Pokemon. So you got to kind of mirror their uh, 
their movement and just keep hitting them from there so bull seed's not a bad move but in my opinion the best item or not best item the best move in this category is going to be belch the second move right here so it deals damage to the opposing pokemon in the area effect and decreases movement speed for a short time if the user has any berries stashed in his tail it consumes them all the more berries the user has stashed away the moves cooldown is reduced so it's basically tackle it does the same thing with berries but it's a shooting out cone kind of range move so it works out really well here it's kind of looks like giga drain but it's called belch and kind of shoots like gases out but the more berries you have it reduces cooldown and this is going to pair amazingly with its uh unite move which we will explain in a second but let's head over to our next thing we can start off with defense curl grants the shield for a short period amount of time in addition a berry will drop in front of the user so that'll be the first move you grab and then it splits into two moves who i think both are really really good and you can really go anyway but covet is going to be my friend here i really do like covet but we're gonna start off with stuffed cheeks has user drop several berries which can be eaten to recover hp any hp recovered that exceeds the max user's hp will be converted into a shield if the user catches sight of a berry while using this move its movement speed is increased so basically anytime you use stuffed cheeks you legit just drop a bunch of berries on the field and you can go pick them all up get some hp and your movement speed gets increased so it's good for like dipping out or healing up so it's good all around but like i said my favorite move for this set is going to be covet over here has the user run with all of its might dealing damage to the opposing pokemon it hits and throwing them while running, the user drops berries from its body. If the user eats a dropped berry, its movement speed is increased for a short time. The more berries the user eats, the more its movement speed is increased. In addition, Belch and or Bullet Seed can also be used while the user is running. So you basically start running really fast, dropping berries left and right. So you keep collecting berries and you can use your move while eating up the berries. So it's really, really good. You guys will have to see in a second. Like I said, this Pokemon has a high learning curve. So you got to play with it. You got to just like, it's more like a you see it to learn it. But it's very, very good Pokemon, and the moves that I'm going to be rocking is going to be Covet and Belch. Final thing we want to go over with him is going to be his Unite move, which is the Berry Belly Flop over here. As a user, eat a berry to recover HP, and then leaps into the designated area, dealing damage to the opposing Pokemon in the area of effect and throwing them at the same time. The user then eats a special berry, allowing it to stash an unlimited amount of berries in its tail for a short time and resetting the cooldown of all its moves. So it does damage. It increases your hp but more importantly you have an unlimited amount of berries for a short period of time and why is that good it is good because of belch if you go back to belch the more berries you have the moves cooldown is reduced so we have unlimited berries so we can constantly use belch instantly so it's constant belch like i'm telling you guys it's no cooldown on belch constant use it it's just mass mad damage and crazy but yeah that's his moveset over here like i said you're definitely gonna have to be like an eyes on and just like hands on person to kind of like get the feel of Reading it over here, definitely high learning curve. Cannot wait to show it off, but let's drop down into the held items. And these three are really where it's at. You got the focus band for a nice bulky defender. You got the muscle band because it gives us better uh, basic attack and boosted attacks we get more often, which is great because we get more berries and all that good stuff. And then the final item is going to be Buddy Barrier. I chose Buddy Barrier or you can choose Score Shield. I feel like both of them really rock out with this Pokemon. So if you want to go Score Shield or Buddy Barrier, it really don't matter. But focus band and muscle band are an absolute must with this Pokemon. But well, there you guys go. There is the best items for this guy and the best move set. Let's now hop into some battles and showcase Greedent to his fullest potential. I was able to lock in Greedent for battle number one. We're going to be using him in the top lane. We also have Talonflame rocking out in the central lane. And we have the brand new buffed Garchomp in the bottom lane. Cannot wait to see that Pokemon. See how good he is. I definitely want to test him out on the rank ladder. But yo, Greedent, I've been playing him off screen for a little bit. And he's solid. He's solid. He's definitely not the Pokemon that's going to be putting up the most kills on the team. But he is very, very bulky. And the way he can recover HP is insane. You guys will see this in just a second. High learning curve, definitely. But he gets HP constantly. So he's very tough to kill. He's very tough to kill. Even early game. He's constantly getting berries. And he's constantly going out from there. Considering you get defense curl very, very early in the game. I think it's like level 3. 2 or 3, I think. Maybe 3. I think it's 3. But yeah, we start off with tackle. And then I like to roll out and get defense curl. And defense curl, every time you use it, it grants a little shield. Just a little shield, which is great, and a berry to give you HP. And plus, that berry gives you attack buffs, um, cooldown decreases. It's just great all around. But, yo, Greedent's definitely a fun character to play. They are not rocking out with the Greedent. That's very upsetting. That is very upsetting, but, yo, Pokemon Sons of Fun. Cannot wait to showcase them for all of you guys in these two battles that we are going to be doing for today's video. But uh, definitely let me know for a question of the day. What are you guys' overall thoughts on Greedent? Let me know in the comment section down below. I'd love to get you guys' thoughts. We're just gonna... Oh, I had Defense Curl. I used Defense Curl as the first one, which is totally fine. That's cool. I can stack up on berries. I would rather have Tackle. I kind of messed up. Hit the wrong button. But it's all good. It is all good. We're just stacking up on berries. And once we do get Tackle, 
We can just double tackle up. I need this level here. Let me get the kill. Thank you. Let me actually kill this thing right here. I do have tackle right now, which is great. I can actually get this, and I might just tackle in over here. And then take that, and just tackle up on you guys again while our team scores. And I'm going to defense curl, pop shield, constantly get HP, and just be able to move back. And I do have my check button ready to roll. Ready to roll if I need it, but why am I lagging so hard? There's, there we go. Whoa, whoa, you guys saw that. You guys saw that. That was pretty nutty. But our teammate was able to score here, which is great. I am going to pop a nice little defense curl, and actually just tackle into this guy. And try to get this a bomb. Once I do, I, of course I don't get the a bomb. I'm gonna be able to hit up on you. Pop another defense curl. Grab my shield up a little bit. You just have mystical fire. So I'm gonna hit up on you again. Just keep teeing off on these guys. Still have my eject button. Here's our EV rolling out here. We're totally fine with our HP. I knew we could survive that hit. And look how bulky we are. Like I said, we are. We just roll out pretty strong. And the bees are about to spawn, so I do have to neglect all that. So let's go get these bees. Come on, yo. Let's go get the bees, baby. Bees are here. I'm guessing they're hiding in the bushes. If I had to guess right. Let me drop my defense curl, tackle back up on this side, and we really need these levels here. Of course, I cannot get it. Of course, I cannot get it. So, in the meantime, I am going to roll down a little bit. Actually, I might pop up out of here, get up on these guys. There's some nice damage here. And we're just, I'm just teeing off on these guys a little bit. It's some nice damage. But the worst part is your berries go forward. Your berries go forward. I'm going to use tackle to dip back. I don't think they know I'm in this bush. Oh, he knows I'm in this bush. Let me check the button out of here. Tackle out. Yep, we're good. We're chilling. Drop my, drop my defense curl. Try to get off some damage here. And just keep teeing off, yo. Like I said, yo, hard to kill a Greedon, dude. This thing gets constant HP. Constant HP, and it has very good maneuvers. Let me send in my defense curl just so I can get a berry here. And just slowly get that. But like I said, we're not going to be the Pokemon to get the most kills on the team. We're kind of just chilling here, playing some nice solid defense, and rolling out from here. Here is this Aurora. I might just tackle up on. Yep. And then tackle up again. Can I get over there? Get him. There we go. Big kill for us. We get rid of the jungler. Now we're just teeing off on this guy right here. Give me my berries. Give me my berries. And we got COVID here. Which is a great little movie. I will showcase it in just a second. I am actually about to use it now. Because you get so much HP from it too. You get so much HP from it too. Because you're constantly spawning berries and just moving at a very quick rate. And the berries spawn in front of you. So you're constantly pushing up. And here's this guy. Don't really like him. Don't really like him one bit. Don't really like him one bit. And I might just use my COVID here. Yeah, let's send it. Look at this. Look at this. We just get moving. We're moving like a race car. We're moving pretty quick. We gotta just like move around, get a bunch of HP. It's great. And you can also attack doing it. The best part is you get a tons of berries. You get tons of berries. Which is great all around. And they're just leaving these enemies here for me. So I'm just gonna tee off on these guys. Get all these berries here. And we are just farming up our XP. Which is exactly what I'm gonna do here. And general is spawn, so I might dip down. Tackle this thing. And I am gonna dip down here. I'm just gonna send my COVID. I'm just going to dip down to Rotom. I'm going to dip down to Rotom. Even though Rotom got a buff and Dreadnought did get a nerf, I still feel as Rotom is very, very strong in this game. So, we're well, not Rotom. I still feel Dreadnought is top tier. And he's like a must-get. I think the Talonflame's teeing off on him. Talonflame, let's get this thing. Let's rip it. Let's rip it, Talonflame. What are you doing? What are you guys doing? Okay, they're team fighting up there. I'm going to go help out. I'm going to go help out. Gene's coming. Gene's coming. Getting all that rolling here. Look at that. I can just quickly maneuver around everybody, dealing damage all around. But here is the Sylveon. I'm kind of just chilling here. Because we have to get this. This would be huge for us. Especially I'm sitting here at level 6. I would love to do him dirty. Use this. Send that. And I'm just going to keep moving. Keep farming up HP here. Not really attack too well. Again, this thing is not a big attack. Not a big attacker at all. We need this Talonflame to stop sitting under tower. Okay, there he is. And we got our Belch finally. Let's go Talonflame. Let's get it. Let's get it, Talonflame. Use this. Constantly get some HP. Start teeing off all around there. And keep rolling back. Look at my HP. My HP. I might die here. Gonna have to check button back here. Can I get my Can I get my COVID again? Nope. Where's my squad at, bro? There they are. I'm still good. I'm still alive. Nope. Now I'm dead. Now I'm dead. I'm trying. I'm trying here. It's tough. It's tough playing greed in, especially when you're solo queuing. Because what's called? Did we get that? I don't think we did. It's tough using greed in solo queuing because you need a Pokemon that's really going to be like strong with you. Really somebody who's gonna do a lot of damage with you. Like I'm playing up up top lane with a squirtle. Playing top lane with a squirt. It's just very, very tough. Very, very tough. But hopefully we can make a comeback here. Get rolling there. Get some kills, actually. I'm trying to unlock his, uh... His, what's it called? His Unite move. Because Unite move is really, really good. In my opinion. Keep rolling here. Getting XP. I am level 8. And we did take out Tower here, which is great. And we weren't up there with a squirt. We were bursting the squirt. We were up there with a Sylveon. Up there with a Sylveon. I'm going to go over here and try to catch him at 26 points. Get some XP, all that good stuff. Put some points on the board for the squad. Bang, there we go. It's beautiful. And here comes the Squirtle. I'm going to use that my Belch there. Do a little bit of damage. I could just cove it out. And there's all these guys, so I'm just going to dip back and try to get back towards our base. 
and get over here with you. Oh, good kill. Good kill, Sylveon. Great kill. Sylveon's still very, very strong. I really do like that Pokemon. I should be able to take out this thing and roll out. And don't dare take that from me. Yo, come on, man. I need my levels. Let's send this over here. Look at look at the movement speed. Oh, he's going to ult here. I wish I had my ult. I did wish I had my ult here. But we do not. We do not. So I would have totally sent it there and showcased to you guys to the fullest potential. It is super, super strong. Hey! Hey, what is this? Use that. Get over here. Use my belch again. Come here. Use my cover here. Come here. Come here. Let me tell you something. Oh my god, they're all here. They're all here. Get some big damage off there. Did I get that KO? Oh, I almost had the KO. It could have been big for us. Hey, belch, can we take out this Blastoise here? I do have my ult, which I might send. Maybe not. I am going to send now. Look at this. All thing, and now we have unlimited berries, which means we have unlimited belch. There's a big KO for us. We're just unlimited belching here. Can you guys score while we belch here? Can you guys score? There we go. That's some big damage there. Look at that. Able to kill, like, everybody there. Help kill everybody and be able to score on that tower. That was huge. Did I get any kills there? I think I just got a bunch of assists. No kills there. I'm 0-5, which is totally fine. They're all back here already. Is that our Blastoids? That's their Blastoids. I tee off on him. Where'd he go? There he is. Come here, let me tell you something. He belched on me. Come here. Come here. There we go. Beautiful kill. There's my first kill. I'm out of here, yo. I'm out of here. These guys are teeing off on me for no reason. Leave me alone. Leave me alone, yo. I need my teammates. I need my teammates. Help me out. No. I'm spawning berries, but I'm chilling. There's my teammates. Cool. Belch here. I'm going to dip back. Keep following up HP. By running around in circles. <laughs> By just constantly running around in circles. Awesome. Belch up on that. Oh, I missed my belch, but there's a kill for us. Let's go. And did I get that one? I did get that kill. That's huge. Let me, let me collect my berries. I think I'm just going to COVID around because I'm not going to be able to take out this thing just by myself. Cannot take this thing out by myself, so I might as well just farm up some HP. And I'll start teeing off on it now, but I do need help down here. There's our Elder Goss. But yeah, we're rolling out with Greed in his bottom half. Bottom half of the game, second half of the game, we're rolling strong. There's him. I might belch on this thing. I am going to double belch just in order for us to guarantee the Shrednal here. Can we get it? Did we get that? We did indeed. Get this thing. Get this thing out of our game. Get him out of here, dude. Get him out of here. There's KO here. Yo, get this thing. Come here. Come here, Blastoids. Yo, Talonflame, help me get this thing. Talonflame, help me get this thing. There you are, Talonflame. I'm going to jack button on you. I missed my belch. Get this thing out of here. Hopefully this thing doesn't ult here. Oh, we're ganging up on this thing like crazy. I'm going to cover it again here. Just so I can dip out and actually chase down this guy. Come here. Come here. Let me tell you something. This thing is going to end up all thing. We do have a nice little lead here. I do have my ult, but I'm going to definitely save it for what's called. Can we get this thing out of here? There's a belch. Get him out of here, dude. I'm definitely saving my ult for uh, this Aptos fight right here. Which is great. And I'm going to cover it again just so I can get all my HP. Yo, look at all the HP we get. Constant berries, dude. Constant berries. So much HP. So much HP all around. That's huge. I'm going to let him get these kills. He's definitely going to need this more than me. I'll tee off on it for a little bit for him. And I might just start hitting up on this thing. I do not want to send my belch yet. Maybe send some berries around on the floor. They can eat up. And I might... I'm kind of just waiting for them to determine if I ult. Yeah, I'm going to ult right here. And just constantly belch on this thing. Because now I have unlimited berries. It's just huge all around. And if anybody comes in here, we tee off. Actually, I'm just going to go over here. Step up. I need to move up a little bit more. There we go. There we go. There's his Aptos kill. We chillin'. I'm COVID out of here. I'm out of here, dude. Look how fast we run. I'm saying, yo, see you later. Yo, I need you to score. I need them to score here and knock out the tower. He didn't knock out the tower. Are you kidding me? I'm coming over there to knock out that tower. Give me a second. Give me a second. There's some points there. And, yo, what a match by Greedit. What a first match by Greedit. Loving it. Loving it. Let's go over here. Use that. Like I said, we're not here to get a lot of kills. We're kind of here to just play around, defend. And he actually comes in good spots. The COVID is really, really strong. I think it gets you out of certain situations, gets you a lot of HP, and has you roll out from there. 626 to 278. I think we had three or four kills with a decent amount of assists. Loving it. As a defender, that's great. That is great. Let's see. How we do? Four and seven. Yo, let's go. Let's go. I think we did probably one of the best on our team with 138 points. We didn't get MVP, but the second best was the seven and four Sylveon, who I think should have done better considering it's a full, full thing of attacking. But yo, gotta love it. First battle in the bag. So let's hop into our second battle and showcase greeting yet again. 
solid first battle for today's video with Greedon. We went four and seven, which isn't too bad. Got to show off some kills, get some assists, and showcase the moveset and item builds for his Pokemon to its fullest potential. But hey, we're hopping into our second battle here, rocking out in that top lane yet again. Hopefully, we can have a better match because our first half of that first match was iffy, and then that second half we absolutely played great. And hopefully, we can kind of have just like a nice match here, get some kills with Greedent, and showcase him up a little bit more. But we're rocking out with the same items: the Focus Band, the Muscle Man, Muscle Band, and the Buddy Barrier alongside with that eject button love this pokemon so much i just love belch on this thing and i love his unite move i think his unite move is super super good but you can use its unite move and then use COVID so you can run around and then use unlimited belches which is super strong which is super strong i don't think we got to showcase that one in the first uh battle but we're definitely gonna be showcasing that one in a second but yo what is going on oh the picture wasn't downloaded yet oh they got oh it's the new costumes oh sick 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 and I haven't checked out the Halloween theme map yet, so cannot wait to showcase that one all for you guys as well. Probably in a different video. But I think it's a whole different game mode. But yo, look at Lucario, dude. I think that Lucario skin is top tier in this game. I think it's one of the coolest ones in the game. Alongside with Firefighter Blasters, I think that one's so sick. His little Firefighter hat on. The Savora one's pretty dope too. But let's focus on the battle. Let's grab ourselves another win here. Go back to back with the brand new Pokemon. Read him. Let's get it, baby. Let's get it. Let's start off with Tackle. Bang, and we're gonna get ripping onto this Apom. Hey, anyone coming in top lane with me? No one? No one wants to hang out with me? Okay, cool. Looks like I'm just gonna be a defender by myself here. Looks like that's how we're gonna be ripping it. That's how we're gonna be getting after it, guys. <laughs> that's how we're gonna be getting after it. Me and my defense girl. I'm gonna be popping this right now just so I can get another berry. Then just tackle over here, get that double kill. And we're just gonna start slowly farming up these guys. Of course, I'm by myself here. Like, what you mean? Did I already take out that, uh, there's that core fish? Gonna pop this, see if I can actually just take this thing out because I do not want them getting that. Beautiful. And I'm the only one here. I am the only one here. That is that that's rough. That's rough. A greeting. The only one in the top lane. What you mean? What you mean? <laughs> pop this again. And just be chilling on our tower. That's legit all we have to do right now. Is just chilling on our tower. He has his probably e-web and all that. And there's our Zoror. Thank you, Zoror. How you doing? On my defense girl. Get a little bit of HP back. And you kind of just chill your I'm actually gonna dip back here. Be able to get this uh this core fish right here at nine. Nine on the nose will spawn. We're just gonna start teeing off on this thing. Popping our defense girl. Just get another berry. Get my berries loaded up for the bees. Now I'm gonna go head over to the bees now. And a Kramer died. Of course a Kramer dies. Of course a Kramer dies. Enters the war dies. Now these guys are just trying to score here. That's tough news. I, I don't know what to do here. Let's get back here. Double tackle. Grab this. And I can't do anything because both my guys died. For some reason, both of them died. Tackle up on you guys. Deal some damage. Give me my berries. Don't touch my berries. What I say about touching my berries. Keep dipping back. Uh, what's called just got a buff as well. Uh, Gengar. But they're, they're just teeing off. Yo, can you back off, Cramorant? I don't know what you're doing, dog. I'm gonna have the jack button back here. Drop my defense curl. Just keep getting HP. So Roar gets a kill here. I am gonna dip up on these guys, and he did die at the same time. I might die here as well. Yep. 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 I'm dying here because my buy my guys do not know what they're doing. They're just running up and dying. Like no point. I think I'm gonna take take care of this jungle. I'm going to take care of this jungle. Our bot lane's doing good. I might go hang out with them. I might go hang out with them. See how they're playing. <laughs> like, I'm dealing. I'm sitting there dealing damage by myself. I'm actually doing putting them low. But I'm a defender. I'm not there to get kills. So it's like, bruh. In my face. I'm not there to do that. I'm not there to do that. So I'm going to go hang out with this bot lane. You know what? Screw those guys. Let's go hang out with this bot lane. Maybe we can just dominate one lane. And kind of roll from there. So I'm not dealing with it. He's just going to die again. He's going to die again in like a second. I'm telling you guys. See, there he goes. He's dead. <laughs> He's dead, yo. Let's just let him have this top lane. We're having fun with this one. We're having fun with this one. We're gonna let him have this top lane. We're definitely gonna need Dreadnought if we wanna get back in this game. And our bottom lane's doing pretty well here. There's him. Um, our guy's just died there. Did I kill him? Nope, close though. We're gonna COVID over here. And where's my war turtle at? I'd love to have this war turtle back here. Go and get rid of this fest between here. Oh, uh, he picked me up as I was going for my tackle. Go here, tackle up. No my jack button, but I'm not gonna use that. I'm gonna use my velvet, get some HP. I don't roll off in there. Deal some damage on the U. Keep running around, dude. Loving it. Loving this move. Tackle on the U, and I'm gonna jack button back here. I tackle up again? No, I do not. I do not. We dip. We shall dip. Get my HP back. The Dreadnought did spawn. I'm just gonna dip back here, grab these berries here, just get full HP, and then roll back for the fight. I'm ready to fight, man. Let me tackle up on you, buddy. Gets a kill, and there's this guy just hanging out here. I'm gonna tackle up on you. I'm gonna tackle up on you again. Just a quick, just a quick double tackle. Get my COVID again here. Keep teeing off on these guys. Yo, dip back. He's gonna pick you up. 
I could have told you that one. I don't have my moves. I don't have my moves. Now I can belch. That's some big damage on my belch. And yo, where's my other dudes at? Lucario's down here teeing off on this thing. Yeah, I try to steal this. I try to steal this thing. I'm gonna go for steal, and I cannot right now. There it is. Did I get that? I did, yo. I'm the best. I'm so good at this game. Big steal for me. At this point, I just dip back. I can't. I cannot fight these guys. Two v one. I can barely handle one on one with my boy. What am I sitting at? Zero and one. Ain't the one too bad. Cause I'm still. I stole that dreadnought. Let's keep rolling here. Let's keep rolling. Let's see what we can make out of this. Our dude's getting teed off on. There's a nice big belch. Getting some damage off for me. I'm gonna score my 30 points. Let's see he dips back. Yes, sir. Okay, this thing. There's some big damage. Come on. Get rid of this thing. Get rid of this thing. Hit him with that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Big KO from Greedent. Oh, yo. You see that lag spike? Yo, what was that? <laughs> Got a big lag spike. I'm gonna head back into that top lane. I did neglect him early on in the match, but it's fine. It's totally fine. I'm gonna take out this thing and I'm just gonna pivot over there. I just run into him. Oh, I gotta just run into him. Thank you. <laughs> I was just trying to run into him. Are these guys coming down here. Hello, how you doing? Come on, get him. Get him. Big KO there. We back here. Let's go get this Rotom. This Rotom is about to spawn. Let me be ready for it. Hey, hey! Chill on me. I might use my, my ult here. I'm gonna ult. Okay, it's my ult off. Use my COVID here. And now look at this. Look at this. We can just constantly run around belching on these guys. Come here. Come here. Come on. Land, land one more. There it is. There's a big KO for us. Beautiful. Loving it. Can I get off another belch here? I got the back. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Chill on me. Look at me. Yo. Just dipping. I'm gone. <laughs> this thing altered on me. Yo, I'm gone. Yo, I'm sorry, Lucario. You're dead. You're dead, Lucario. He belch again. Yo, what's going on? What do you mean? Yo, if I would have died there, I would have cried, yo. Because that lag was atrocious. That lag was atrocious, man. Let's take out this Rotom here. The Roy gets a triple kill. That's huge for us. I was gonna cry, dude. That like was so bad <laughs> for no reason. All right, we got Rotom. I'm gonna lead him over there. They can probably get right now. Let me see how I'm doing. I'm two and three. Ain't doing too bad. Let me finish off the tower here. Uh, he actually finished it off there, and now I got it dead. I'm out of here. Let's Pikachu ult it later. I'm going. I'm going to Dreadnought. Actually, Lucario's gonna get Dreadnought by himself. I'm gonna fight here. He just teeing off on him by himself, I believe. Go ahead, Lucario. Do your best. Do your worst to it. That thing. I can use the shield like right now. That belch. I'm out of here. Get my HP. Farming up again. Did the car is the dreadnought actually spawn or she what's he doing? Is he fighting? There it is. I was waiting for it. I was waiting for him to get it. I was like, dude, there's nobody down there. We should be fine. Let me push up on this thing. I can get my covert here. Come here. Come here. I missed him with my belch. Missed him with my second belch too. Come on, man. Like I said, yo, high learner curve with this Pokemon. But very strong all around. Belch you. There's a Gengar here. Yo, can I get a little bit of help here? I can score. I can just put some points on the board. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let me get 40. Oh, he came out of nowhere. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Later. Later, fools. You guys cannot catch up to me. I'm out of here. <laughs> Love me some greed. It. I'm going to dip back to that top lane. It is a very close battle, and I do not want them scoring. Bro, I'm telling you, yo, you can, the, the maneuvers with this guy is awesome. Gonna move, maneuver over here. Look at him. Yeah, look at him trying to score here. Get back, baby. Get back, yo. We looped all the way around the map. Let me belt you guys. I get a little bit of help here. I might have to, I'm gonna have to ult here. Come here. Come here. There you go. Get out of my game. Get out of my game. Is that a double kill for me? Nah, I only got one. But yo, I'm with it all day. I'm with it all day. I'm gonna take out these guys just so we can get some XP and be level 13. Or, or what's it called? Or zip zap. For Zapdos. <laughs> I'm loving Greed It, man. Such a fun character. Really fun character. Like I said, high learning curve. It's great. You guys can probably tell how high of a learning curve this thing has. I'm going to dip over here. I'm going to take out these guys right here. Like I said, I just need level 13. There you go. I hit the double belch. That's huge. And <laughs> look at me just moving all crazy. Like, but they got Rotom, which is big. They're not going to spawn in time. I'm going to take out you. And then take out you with my double belch. And then get that level 13 and have Belch Plus. So we're going to be able to deal more damage with that, which is great all around. And what should I do from here? I think I'm just going to attack this uh, crawl on right here. Just so I can get my berries, farm up. Give me my berries. Give me my berries. Look at that. Munch, 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 munch. I got berries full. I can double belch whenever I want. Just standing. Who's he fighting? He's just fighting up with his Zapdos. I don't know if I should. Oh, here goes Pikachu. There's one Belch. There's two Belch for the KO. Gotta love it. I'm going to use my puppet here. Just to farm up berries. 
I'll wait for the other guys to spawn. I can double belch and actually finish that thing off once this thing's dead. There's one belch. And we got it. Look at that, yo. Beautiful. I'm so good at this game. I'm so good at this game. And we get a kill with it. And we get a kill with it. The double belch is great for stealing Zapdos. It's so good. Look at this. This guy's gonna do all that stuff. I'm trying to, like, get back under his tower just so I can score. Can I score? There it is. I am gonna ult on you guys. Yeah, you want some ult action? Come here. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you, baby. Oh, dude, almost got that kill. Almost got that kill. Got the one on him, but yo, solid second battle as well. Six and five. Other team surrenders. We were able to steal Zathros and defend our towers really, really well, yo. Greedent's definitely fun. Like I said, high, high learning curve. Great character with a high learning curve. But let's see how our team did. Let's see how many points we did put up on the board. I think we put up a decent amount. Probably not MVP. Maybe MVP. We did put up a good amount. Let's see. Nope. 130, though. Not MVP. 11 and 3 for Urza Roar with 167 points. We did probably second best in the whole lobby. But for a defender, I think we did phenomenal. Great video of us showcasing Greedent to his fullest potential. We get to show off his moveset alongside with his best held items for this amazing melee defending Pokemon right here. He's great in the top lane, great in the bottom lane, and it's just all around a great Pokemon. Like I've been saying throughout the video, definitely a high learner curve. So if you want to learn this Pokemon, take some time with him, study him up, and get after him that way. Because he is actually very strong with that high learner curve. So once you can learn him, you can roll out from there. But hopefully you guys did enjoy the content and got to learn something new. If you did enjoy today's video or enjoy the little guides to do on Pokemon Unite, make sure you leave a like on today's video. And if you're new to the channel or just not yet subscribed, consider subscribing to the channel and joining the community. But seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody. Thank you.